Hello, my name is Michael. I'm the owner of Change Cars and the host of the TV show All Things Motoring. I have one mission and that is to make a difference to the motoring public. Making a difference how? Making sure that you have safe options, making sure that you have knowledge. In that regard, it is my absolute pleasure and privilege to work with Alan Rosenmeyer of Motor Matters. The man with a hat, I'm the man with no hat, he's the man with the knowledge. Thank you for watching. I say I never film into the sunlight, but it's sunset, so I'm going for it. A uh, handsome looking car. It still looks a little bit more like a petrol that's been changed into, a, into an electric for me. You know, the, 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 the solid front grille here. Um, yeah, uh, mm, mm. I suppose the ethos here is that they are not trying to shock us too much by saying, yeah, it's too modern, it's too electric, it's too unlike a Volvo. But look at the lines in this thing. See how that roof slips all the way back and that's what leads to our rear view challenges when looking at the car. But from the rear, I think it's very sexy indeed. And the split tail lights here, rear tail lights, I think are very funky that set it apart as an electric. And the only hint you have that it is in fact electric is this recharge twin and it's the twin that makes all the difference because that of course is twin motor the tailgate is powered yay and remote controlled and there's quite a big boot in here it's not it's not massive by any suv standards but it's not too it's not too small i don't have a full-size spare wheel i think that's all occupied by you guessed it, batteries! And of course in the front we've got a trunk and in the trunk of course is the chargers and quite a cool little feature is this now, ah, uh, which is a fold down for your headrest why that's there, God only knows it is there, let's call it Swedish flair maybe someone will explain it to me at some stage I can also quite conveniently close the boot with the remote which is nice I haven't tested whether it opens up via the kick function or not, but I'm not too stressed about that. I do like the looks of this car. I do like these scoops on the top here. I'm just going to zoom in on those a little bit. How cool are those? And it certainly gives the car some aggression. The secret, however, I think that helps its handling somewhat is, I'm going to zoom in on the numbers here 25540 R20 and it's a P0 that is a chunk of rubber on the rear and it gives you a hint as to why this car handles the way it does and when I'm talking about handling as I will on the on-road sec section uh, it's quite phenomenal different size front tire here we're talking at 2, 3, 5, 4, 5, 20 inch, so a slightly narrower tyre, but again, not insignificant, and certainly there, and an integral part of the car's handling, as I've said. Intelligent headlights, they turn on and off as you go in the round corners, and of course they have automatic high beam, beautifully powerful at night, um, allow you to see everything you need to see. And you can see the integrated camera in the Volvo badge here. And that is just part and parcel of what sets the car up when you're doing your 3D top view down reversing. And it shows you obviously the full picture of the car, as well as everything around, around you so you don't hit anything. Because, you know, hitting things in this car is going to be expensive. Right, the interior of the Volvo, actually a very nice place to be. Sorry about the glare, it is a sweltering 31 degrees Celsius here in Johannesburg as you can see. But we have an all digital dash in front of us that you can scroll through and trigger various options at the moment it's set for navigation and a map. The car seems to think it's on which is why it's moaning that I haven't got my seatbelt on, but I have taken it off whilst I film. The center console infotainment type thing, as I say a lot of glare, sorry guys. But we have everything pretty much a touch of a button from our center menu here. Of course, now pushing it and 
pushing the wrong area but you can select whatever it is you need to get through something i want to point out is something like car stats this morning the car moaned moaned at me that the tire pressure on the left front was a bit low so i stopped and put a couple of bars in there you just tell it that's what you've done it wasn't quite a couple of bars a couple of milli bars just to top it up you tell it what you've done and then it stores itself which is which is which is really kind of cool you also have things like uh if you're pushing your service we only have to do a service in 534 days after 20,000 k's because being electric these things don't need a hell of a lot of servicing do they and you've got this very cool thing saying air quality which is great and you can have a clean zone which you can activate in there as you like the car does come with a modem that allows you a whole bunch of connectivity via google i have not gone into that simply just don't actually have the time yeah i know i'm sorry volvo i know it's there it's great it's the way of the future and modems are going to be integrated into cars as we go the one thing i have to point out to you is this dash see all this black here well guess what happens at night it changes color it becomes a mixture of blues and grays along these textures here stunning 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 a wireless charging as one would expect on a car costing 1.325 million rand and we have our basically which direction do you want to go forwards backwards doesn't matter you have no other selections in terms of modes sport drive what have you you can set on the, from the center console you can actually uh grab an off-road mode if you wanted to because this is a four-wheel drive suv well twin motor powered on all four wheels but in essence this is the very cool knob and once you put it in the d for go mode you don't need anything you just put your foot down and this thing skedaddles buggers off into the distance as if it were stung by the proverbial bee the only downside i can really fault the car on a little bit is our rear view mirror here because as you can maybe see the, the little yeah you see i'm not entirely sure i can even see the view out the rear view mirror is not great because of the sloping lines of the car um, this if they changed this to become a one of those uh, digital displays with a camera at the back that would be a nice a nice feature seats and things on this car are ridiculously comfortable they are just wonderful combination of faux leather and suede and you can have a bolster adjustment which means you can pull your legs out a little bit if you want to on the things which is nice cubby hole is a bog standard thing with a thing here for some stuff not sure what you put out oh, it comes out <laughs> and you see there's my Vodafone uh, SIM card for my for my modem that I have not connected up so Volvo but standard it would be nice if it was cooled but you know I am pushing my luck a little bit there I guess this is actually a quite a useful place to keep your cell phone when it's not charging on the wireless charging pad but comfort on the car absolutely insane I have to just quickly point out this panoramic sunroof despite the glare it is huge it is correctly tinted it does a little bit of heat into the car the one thing that these electric cars do seem to suffer from a little bit is the fact that the aircon it, it kind of needs to work pretty hard to to keep the car cool but in this case it manages to get the job done maybe just not quite as fast as a petrol powered equivalent because i suspect that the air conditioning units are spec to the barest minimum uh, to minimize your your battery drain right so that's it for the interior we'll do some on the road footage shortly oh let me just forget about the steering wheel of course so basic controls here for your functionality of cruise control adaptive obviously and sound controls here up for volume down for lower volume left right for music maybe i'll play you some music in a in a little bit because the sound system on here is of course a harman Kardon and high-end system they don't give me a hell of a lot of spec on it I'm suspicious that it's probably 10 speakers at a minimum purely because the bass response on the on the car is very very nice very clean very deep and I suspect that's on account of more than one subwoofer and just sitting here I can count at least five speakers one two three 
four five. I wouldn't be surprised if there's some more in the door somewhere. So I'm guessing we're looking at a ten speaker setup, and I think I found another speaker up there, which is groovy. I don't know if you can see that, but there's one in there. So we've got a lot of options here, and of course surround sound if you wanted it. Personally, I don't like it in a car, but it's there. On the road with the Volvo, driving along sedately at 30 k's an hour in suburbia as one does, I have my Volvo cap on just to have a nod to where I am and the car's ridiculously quiet. I'm in on a road that is notoriously noisy and bumpy, fairly close to where I reside and this car has got to be one of the quietest ones on it that I've had so far. You would expect that it is of course electric. <laughs> No ninja noise. There's a slight little whine from the electric motor if you really, really listen out for it and you don't have the radio turned on at all, you can pick it up. But quiet, quiet, quiet. And for the size rubber that I've got on the on the wheels in this car, again, very little road noise is actually allowed to interfere into the cabin here. Volvo have built something stupidly solid. It's as good as the as the interior would suggest that the you know big gives the rest of the car. Everything is matched. You're getting value for your 1.3 million rand here. Of that there is absolutely no doubt in my mind. It's a premium quality car this at every touch point and every engagement point. So driving along my ride quality I think is exceptional. I think that my touch points, my tactiles on the car are exceptional. I think that the handling on the car is exceptional. It's 2.1 tons, it has 300 kilowatts, 660 newton meters of torque and unlike any petrol car that takes a little while for those figures to manifest themselves, this thing does so pretty much instantly my god it's just you've got to have proper engineering to be able to handle that just unbelievable and it's how the Volvo puts that power down that really sets it apart from you know sort of unconventional well, conventional petrol powered cars let's put it that way so I'm sorry I'm driving into the sun now so I'm getting shadows and all sorts of things all over my fabulous countenance it is what it is but the absolute control that the Volvo is able to exercise over these kind of levels of power is simply astonishing it's as I say a heavy car with a huge amount of power and a huge amount of torque and if you don't manage those correctly you're going to have a bunch of dead customers who've gone into bushes backwards hit trees hit the car in front of them probably because this thing is just that quick and you just get the sense that's never going to happen in the Volvo it'll let you have some fun if you want to really hurry things along a little bit and and and, and push 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 your luck and and push the car and see what it's capable of doing you can do that and it'll allow you to peek the, those fabulously wide tires a little bit and you can get a little bit of a chirpy noise out of them but it will not let you spin the car backwards into a bush it the traction control intervenes long before that happens and it does so in a gentle fashion it's not one of these aggressive aggressive traction controls that basically shuts everything down immediately it it just tempers things off a bit and it balances the car and off you go it's uh, it's 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 delightfully inobtrusive and yet it gives you the sense of confidence that you can actually drive better than probably you're capable of doing because that's how this car makes you feel it gives you uh, a sense of of safety of stability of confidence and I love it I I, 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 I love pet, I, petrol listen to me I'm a buzzhead I've loved the electric cars from the time I first sat in one and this one has got to be up there amongst the very best available on the South African market today it is exceptional and again I say to you if you have not driven an electric vehicle yet you've got to to understand why 
we petrol heads become buzz heads and why we can have two hats at the same time because man alive it's a stunning car <laughs> I'll never get bored of that. Let's talk one pedal driving, which is what it is. You want to go fast? Like I'm coming off the highway. I'm going fast. Just like that. And if I want to slow down, I just let my foot off and it starts to regen immediately. And the regen is nice and aggressive to the point where you don't ever need to use your brake pedal. The only time you're going to use your brake pedal is in, an, in the case of an emergency. Uh, or if you're really hustling along and you need to slow down a little bit faster than you would ordinarily slow down just using regen. And that changes how you drive. You get home and your brake pads are absolutely ice cold because you just have never used them. So, um, whatever brake pads cost on Volvos these days, you can just take that ball and throw it away. Along with quite a few other maintenance balls. Um, oh, this thing ticks a lot of boxes. One pedal driving. Why haven't we been doing this all along? Okay, I'm going to do something I haven't done before in a car. I want you to listen to the sound system. As I say, I think it's a 10-speaker Holland Kardon system, it doesn't really matter, because it's very nice, very open, very detailed, very easy to listen to, especially at loud volumes. It's not fatiguing, and that for me is always the hallmark of a good sound system, is that you can listen to this all day long, at full volume, punch whatever tunes you like through it, and it's not going to make you tired and grumpy and give you a headache. So, that said, Let's have a listen. And I'm going to crank it to the max. of music to reproduce but it does so convincingly and that bass can actually run away with you a little bit yet the Volvo doesn't allow it to so it's just easy it's comfortable love it 